Today we gotta go do some brake lines on a truck I bought. It has, uh, it supposedly had one bro blown brake line. I went to go look at it and test drive it's got two bro blown brake lines. So I got some of this nickel copper um, quarter inch line. I got drill, drill bits, uh, cutting wheel, brake parts cleaner, line wrenches. I got brake fluid in the truck couple lights some extra new couple new line nuts and um i have two more rolls of brand new uh, brake line as well just in case i don't have enough i think i should those rolls are not complete but they're close and um what else what else oh my tubing better i don't want to forget that Well, we're here. Uh, we bought this truck, but the brake lines are bad on it, so we've got to fix them real quick before we can take it home. That's what he's working on. my tubing bender at home so I'm gonna have to use this one this little cheapy I picked up at Riley's yeah it's hard to remember every tool you need when you're going somewhere to work on something yeah it's it's a crap bender too I mean it crushes the line Better than nothing. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the idea is it's supposed to keep it from crushing, mm. but just got to manipulate it, do the best I can. So I forgot mine. I stopped at three places to see if I could buy a, a good one, and the only thing I find was these cheap pieces of crap. Hold me right here. Okay. I'm trying to straighten out some of these bends in this thing because this is a line that I'm, I've used from a truck we took apart. Someone had just put it on, but there was a bunch of uh, compression fittings. So I just pulled them out completely because they had splices in them. Okay, that should be good. All right, we're ready to put this in. I just reused the original nut. You can see how that's kind of a, a different nut, like a, whatever that is, 916 head, but still a quarter inch flare here. So now we're gonna send it through and get it on. All right, we're almost home, but we got a problem. We blew another brake line. It's on the back. So I'm gonna see if I can just pinch off the hose to the rear. Because we're only just a couple miles from home. Alright, it's leaking right here. And I tried to pinch it off. Like crimp the line over on itself. And it just won't work. So, I got a piece of a pair of ice curves on that hose that goes the back. I'm only, I don't know, a mile and a half, less than two miles from home. It's all back road, so. We got good front brakes, we just lost the rear. All right, I got a good brake pedal again. All right, probably not the ideal way to go, but test it here, make sure it's gonna hold in a good stop. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, let's head on the rest of the way home. I'm just taking these back county roads, you know, there's no traffic on here. So if, if I lose brakes, I can always on the emergency brake it works well I checked that but I think we'll be all right well we made it that problem I was having I don't know if I got it on video or not but it would occasionally just shut off it would you're driving along and the wait to start light would come on it would shut off and the wait to start light would come on and you get down the road hit a bump again and it would come back and I think I found it it's in the ignition switch 
the uh, one of the connections was loose and it looks like it had melted the plastic behind it so I took uh, my knife got in there and cleaned it and then squeezed the terminal back and shoved it back on it seems like it's working so let's see if it fires right back up it was having trouble starting up yeah I think we got it fixed all right, so we made it back okay. Everything went well. Just a little problem with the brake line, like you saw. Um, ran and drove good. It's a 2000 International 4700. It's uh, 22.5 tires. Uh, the GVW is 25500. It's Allison Automatic. Again, hydraulic brakes. It's an air conditioned truck. I don't think the air conditioning works, but it's all there. And I think the interior is in decent shape. You know, it's it's not all beat up at the the rockers are good the underside of the cab looks decent um, it's been sitting a while because uh, the guy I bought it from did work for these people and they had the truck there and they were gonna build it into a dump truck and then they decided no we're not gonna do it so it sat there while they waited on deciding what to do and finally they just bought something else and you can see it's a double frame it's it's got a little bit of you know just surface crap on it this is nothing you know this will this will clean up nicely it's not bubbling anywhere, it's just flaking from the outside, the paint and stuff, but it'll make a nice little dump truck or something. We'll move the axle forward and make it something else. The rear brakes are okay. They're not, like, I, I touched the calipers when we got back. They're not hot, so that's good. But we'll move that axle way forward and turn this into a little baby dump truck. You know, it'll be a good under CDL dump truck for somebody. We'll take the box off. It's in less than fantastic shape, but... It'll be good for storage. Don't you know, somebody will want it for storage. A lot of farmers around here. A um, little bit of the turn down's no good on that. That's kind of weird. The rest of the exhaust seems to be okay. Um, front tires are eh, but if we go through it, we go over, we'll do it all. You know, get it, I have another bumper. The hood looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's just dirty. Had good batteries in it. This door latch here is, oh, uh, the locks act up on these where they get locked and you can't open from the outside so uh i'll fix that that's not really a big deal so now i have to do the rear brake lines and i didn't just stop and do them even though i had the stuff with me because one we we're only a mile and a half two miles from home and two it's counterproductive because when i do that and then i move this axle forward i'm gonna have to cut them back down so it is what it is but anyways that's that one Another day in the in the books. It's over. We got it home. It was a little bit of a drive, a little bit of a fiasco, but it should be worth it in the end. It's a decent looking truck. And when we're done, it probably won't look anything like it does now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you look forward to seeing us turn this one probably into a dump a dump bed or a rollback. This will make a nice little rollback. I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna get the numbers off the transmission, see if it has PTO gear in it, and we'll start making our plan from there. Alright, so after a certain year, Allison quit putting uh, model numbers on their transmissions. Now, this one still has it, and you might be able to see it right here, AT545. And then there's a transmission serial number as well. And that's usually what you have to go by is a, a serial number. And they can tell you if it's got a PTO gear in it or not. It's so hard to read that one. It's pretty caked over, but I guess you can see it pretty good now.